So that's the cinder block bed from this view. And of course, this sunflower from this view. And the head actually isn't so big that this thing is drooping up, but we don't have any stakes big enough to support um, that, um, to straighten it out a little bit more. But, I mean, they end up leaning their heads over a little bit when they get heavy. The bees have really done a work in there. The seeds are already starting to form. So in these three pallets, um, when they were first laid down, I had a, um, a challenge I kind of gave myself to see how much food I could grow within 30 days. And that was um, a couple of years ago. These pallets have held up really well. I think only one has broken and it's because I put too much weight on it when I was moving from one end to the other. Um, but yeah, this okra kind of got beat up by the storm, but that's pretty much the only leaf we had a little bit of um there's a couple bug bites here because you know with bt the bugs are gonna eat some of it before they pass on to the next life but uh this okra is kind of bunching up and getting taller and taller and taller these are um red okra i don't know if i have any clemson spineless this red okra came from seed that came from seed <laughs> from Paffert um, Homestead. Paffert Family Homestead, maybe. Um, I don't remember now. AJ's had given me some um, watermelon seed. And this watermelon seed has now started sprouting out branches everywhere. And it's about to take over Sunflower Row. There's one headed straight for my newly developed path. I don't know what I'll do about that. This German Queen tomato has really loved the rain rain. It didn't respond very well to my water. But I think, you know, tap water is sometimes um, chlorinated and treated. And things just prefer regular, good old-fashioned sky water. Uh, there's little babies all in there now. When On the last tour, you only saw two. 